Okay, part two of math today, we're going to go back to measurement like we had started talking about in our second part of math yesterday. So, on page 557, we're going to connect this information with talking about the inchworm measurements that we did, okay? So remember, we're, well, don't remember yet. You'll remember in just a minute. Okay, now you're going to use that problem from the previous page to understand how to measure length. Remember when, now you're remembering, all right? Remember when we were using the rulers yesterday? Mm -hmm. When we measure something, where do we start it at? Okay, and what if there's not a zero, like on this ruler? What if there's not a zero? At the first line. Yeah, that very first line. All right. So, complete the sentence. I'm on number one here. Complete the sentence to describe how you begin to measure earthworm A. Here's the sentence they've started for us. I line up the left end of the earthworm with what on the ruler? So this is the left end of the earthworm. If I'm going to measure an earthworm, what do I have to line it up with over here? What did we just say? The zero or the line. Right. Or the first line. Well, so we'll just say, in this case, we'll just say with what? The zero. With zero. We'll just use the number. How about that? Okay, now you're going to be flipping your page back and forth. Okay? So number two says, look at picture it. So if we look back at picture it right here on page 556, it asks, is earthworm A longer than or shorter than one inch? Looking at what they show here. Is earthworm A longer than or shorter than one inch? Longer. Looking at earthworm A, longer. here's one inch. So what do we need to write? Longer. And if you don't know how to spell longer, thank goodness it's right there on your paper for you. All right, now let's look at three. What do you need, Raylan? Oh, perfect. Good thing I have it up here then, huh? Yeah. Okay. So what? Um, do we need rulers? Okay. Uh, not yet. Okay. So the um, number three, the mark on the ruler that is closest to the other end of earthworm A represents how many inches? I'll make this bigger since you don't have that paper. So we're looking here. Again, the mark on the ruler that is closest to the other end of worth earthworm A represents how many inches right here? Raylan? Earthworm A. Yeah, there's two ways we could say it, right? One and a half inches, or it could be one and two fourth inches. Those are equivalent fractions. So let's go back to three. Whoa, that's teeny tiny. Let's go back to three and write down what Ray Lynn had said. It represents, how long was that earthworm A? One, one and a half. So we write one and then one half. One and a half. And they've already labeled inches for us. How kind. Mm -hmm.
So then they're making us rewrite this again. Earthworm A is how many inches long? One, One and a half. My two looks like a Z. One and one Z. Okay, so now we are going to skip this because we got rid of the paper that we had already measured those earthworms on. Okay? So you can just cross that out. Sound like a plan? Your picture is better. Why'd you knock it off the wall? I, didn't I saw you go over there and pull it. I didn't know. Okay. So are we on the back side of that page then? Yeah. That has that tape measure there. Okay. All right. So now Brian finds two more worms. He labels them G and H. Now, when we measure these, I'm going to give you a ruler, okay? When we measure these, we have to find the length of those worms to the nearest one-fourth inch. So I'm going to go back to this right there. If this is our ruler, because it's set up like this one is, these marks right here, those are the one-fourth inch marks, right? Each one is one-fourth of an inch. Okay? So this one would be, what would this length be? One-fourth. This length would be two-fourths, or it could also be one-half. This mark would be three-fourths. Then, of course, it's one inch. What would this mark measurement be? One, one and one-fourth. One what would this mark measurement be? One, one and one and two-fourths, or it could also be one and one-half. Oh, there's my Z again. What would this mark measurement be? One and three-fourths, then two inches. What would this measurement be? Two and one-fourth, two and two-fourths, two and three-fourths. What's an equivalent fraction for two and two-fourths? Two and one-half. One okay, so we're using the one-fourth measurements to measure earthworms G and H, okay? Remember how you need to line up um, how to line up your ruler with oh, the end of the earthworm. Okay. Okay, did I give everybody a ruler? Yeah. Oh geez, Noah, here's your ruler. <laughs> Board. Here's your ruler. Oh, you your sock. Ew, I'm not giving my sock a ruler. All right. Have you measured earthworm G? Yes. I got to make my paper really small to. Okay, so now, oh, 
I don't know if you'll be able to see this, Noah. I know I can barely see it, and I'm right there. Okay, so the little worm here, if we line it up with where zero would be on our ruler, the left end of earthworm G, oops, it's moving the whole thing. I'm trying not to touch it. So is it less than one inch? No. Or is it more than one inch? Okay, so it's more than one inch. Is it one and one fourth inches? No. Is it one and two fourth inches? Yes. Okay, so let me make this bigger again. Earthworm G is what? One. Earthworm G is, we got a little confusion. Earthworm G is one and two one and two fourths inches. You could put one and a half because is that the equivalent fraction? Yes. Yes. All right, then go over and measure earthworm H. And then write down how many, fra how many fractions, not that, how many inches earthworm H is. To the nearest quarter inch. Quarter means one fourth. Are you going to have to do a little deciding where it fits in there? Yes. Sorry. All right. So measuring earthworm H. Is it less than an inch no okay is it at least two inches yes is it three inches no no, no? Mm -hmm. it's not three inches no. okay so let's go back to two inches is it two and one fourth inches no. is it two and two fourth inches is it two and three-fourth inches? Yes. Is that the closest one-fourth measurement to it? Yes. So what did you answer for H? Two and three-fourths. Okay. It's two and three-fourths inches long. All right, now you need your ruler and you need your pencil at the same time because you are going to use your ruler to draw a line that is four and one fourth inches long. Four, so find four inches on your ruler. And then how many marks over do we need to go? One mark, because that's one fourth. So four and one fourth inches long. On this plain white section right here. Mine wasn't because I don't want to write on the ruler. Mine was straight. 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 Okay, so that's as close as I could get it because I can't touch my ruler to the board. So four and one fourth inches long. Good job. I'm just going to come double check, okay? Good job. Four and one fourth inches. So try it again. You did. The 
is longer than four and a fourth. So double check that. Did you get it fixed there, Haley? All right. So now I know compared to the size of the page, my mark is, it looks way smaller than yours on your paper, doesn't it? Okay, let's look at 10. Which lines are three inches long when measured to the nearest half inch? Hold on a minute, friends. Let's go back to this ruler up here that shows the first three inches, okay? So if we're looking at our rulers and we are comparing them to this, this part of a ruler up here, remember, half inch, one half, one over two. So how many parts are they dividing up between zero and one? If it's a half inch, how many parts are they dividing it up into? Two. Two. So here would be one half. This would be two halves. Okay, so each of these marks right here, right here, the halfway mark between each of the whole numbers is a half inch, okay? So are we looking at all four of these little marks this time? Yeah. No, we're looking at the half inch mark and then the full inch. The half inch, the full inch, the half inch, the full inch. Do you see what I'm talking about? Half inch, full inch, half inch, full inch. So thinking about that, going back to these green lines, measure which ones are close to the nearest half inch, making them three inches long. It says which lines, do you think that means there's more than one? Yes. Three. Yes. I found one. Okay. So just color in the, so it's the answer. Three halves. It's got to be three inches long. Okay, so if it's less than that half inch, if it goes back to that three, then that would work. one are you uncertain about? No, because that's closer to three and a half. Okay, how many of you think you figured out which lines are three inches long? I found one. I found two. I think. There are two. Okay, put your ruler on line A there. What is the actual, oh, Amy, what is the actual, uh, did that go off? Oh, I accidentally hit snooze, hold on. Okay, what is the actual measurement of line A? Three, three and one-fourth. I agree, three and one-fourth. Yeah. Oops, I don't have it on a writing utensil. So three and one fourth. Okay, what's the actual measurement of line B? 
Measure line B. Exactly, three inches. Okay, so really, really close to three inches. Okay. How about line C? It's obviously going to be less than three inches. Two and two and one half, or two and two fourths. Okay. What about line D? Three and a half. Exactly. What about line E? Two. Kind of like three, like in the middle. Three and three fourths. Two, close to two and three fourths. Yeah. Okay. All right. So of all of those, which ones are the closest? to three inches. Three and two and three fourths. Three, obviously. B and A. B and E. No, B and A. B and E. There's only two, right? Yeah. Okay, let's talk about A. Why would A maybe or maybe not work? Connor, why were you thinking A? Because you were thinking A, right? Mm -hmm. Why were you thinking that? It was kind of low. Okay, because it was just barely over three. Just like this one was barely behind three. So could three and one fourth if we're talking about the nearest half inch, could that round back down to three? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that actually might work too. So there really could be three possibilities there. Okay. <laughs> Now we're looking at page 559 and 560. Okay, stop coming, please. Thank you. Let's look at the crayons here. The example. What is the length of the longest crayon? Is red the longest? No. Yellow? No. Blue? Yes. Okay. So if we look at this blue crayon, it's more than one inch and it's more than two inches. Mm -hmm. So it could be either split up into the four equal parts or the two equal parts, right? So is it two and one fourth inches? Mm -hmm. Right here? No. Two, two. Or is it two and two fourth inches long? Two and two, two, and two fourth inches. So if it's two and two fourth inches, what would be an equivalent measurements to that? Two and two fourths is equal to two and one half. All right, so we have to line up all of those crayons on that zero side of the ruler, don't we? And then measure the other end of them. What is the length of the red crayon? Exactly two inches. What about the yellow? One and, one, and one and a half. If you said one and two fourths, would you be correct? Yes. All right. So the blue crayon ends halfway between two and three inches. So therefore it's two and a half inches long. Okay. We just talked about this. Number one, the tip of the yellow crayon um, up here is between which two inches on the ruler? So off to the side here, let's write. What two inches is the yellow crayon between? One, one and 
two. So let's just say one and I'm doing my little and sign two. It's like a backwards three with a little line above it. Okay, there's another part to number one here. To the nearest half inch. So this tells us we're looking at the two equal parts. Okay, how long is the yellow crayon? It's more than one, but it's not quite two. It's halfway, so it is one and one and one half inches. It's one and a half inches. But they want us to do the nearest half inch. So our denominator has to be two in that fraction because they're splitting it into those two parts. Okay, what is the length of the red crayon above? Write it down, the red one. Should you label your answer? Yes. So what is the length of the red crayon? What did you write? Because you should already have it written. Everybody? How do we know it's two inches? Because it lines up with the two. Yeah, it stops exactly on the two, doesn't it? Okay, so now to the nearest half inch. Remember, this two tells us our denominator has to be two in our fraction, okay? How long is this green crayon? It is one, two, three. Now they're splitting it into halves, remember? So this would be the half inch mark and this is the other half inch mark. So this green crayon is three and one half inches long. Because it's not four inches, is it? Because when we talk about half inches, we have one half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, and it just keeps going on and on and on. Okay, let's look at the back side. We have more crayons. Looks like purple, orange, and green. And then brown down below. Okay, so using this picture that you have on your paper which color crayon is three and one fourth inches long when measured to the nearest one fourth inch can you tell by looking it's going to be the one that's less than three or a little more than three a little more than three so which crayon is a little more than three inches? Purple. Purple. So what are we going to answer for number four? Purple. P-U-R-P-L-E. P -U -R -P -L -E. Some of you are looking like, hmm, what's the er? It's U-R. All right, now number five. To the nearest one-fourth inch. How long is the green crayon? It's more than one inch. It's more than two inches. Is it three inches? Not yet. Not yet. So we're talking about the four equal parts. It's split up in four equal parts. So is it two and one fourth inches? No. no. Is it two and two fourth inches? No. Or is it two and three fourth inches? Okay, so how would we write that? Whole number is two, because there's two whole inches, and then there's three fourths of another inch. Okay, now we need to look at the orange crayon. That's a little crayon. 
We have to write the length of the orange crayon. Explain how you found the length. So if we look at our ruler, whoops. And now you fill your paper. I know. Mm. It's got me all flustered. We know that it's lined up on the zero, right? It's split into how many equal parts? Four. Four equal parts. Is it one whole inch? Is it four of those four equal parts exactly? No. Is it less than an inch? No. Or is it a little more than one inch? No. Okay, so the length we know is one and how much more? No. One and one fourth, one and two fourths. One. Which one is it? One and one, one, and one fourth. So it's one whole inch plus a fourth of another inch. But now we're not done. Because we have x squared. I think us just talking out loud like this works for our explanation for now. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's look at the brown crayon. But I need to move this up. Because the brown crayon goes with seven and eight. So seven, we're measuring it to the nearest half inch. But then eight, we're measuring it to the nearest one fourth inch. So for this fraction, for seven, to the nearest half inch, now remember, if it's a half inch, there's only two equal parts between the whole numbers. Where's my first half inch? Tell me to stop when I get there. Stop. Okay, so this is a half inch. Where's my next half inch? Stop. Right there. Where's my next half inch? Stop. The next half inch? Stop. 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 Do I need to go any further? No. no. Okay, so this would be half an inch. Is it more than half an inch? Is yeah, this crayon yeah. more than, is it longer than one half yeah. of this inch? Yeah. Okay, is it one inch? No. Is it one and a half? No. Two. Two and a half? No. Three? No. Three and a half? Yes. Okay. So we have three whole inches and half of another inch. So the brown crayon is three and a half inches. How would I write that fraction using those fourth inches? One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, one inch. One and one fourth, one and two fourths, one and three fourths, two inches. Two and one fourth, two and two fourths, two and three fourths, three inches. Three and one fourth. Three and two fourths. So it would be, three. what would we write? Three, three and two, two fourths. So there's a difference when they want us to measure to the nearest half inch or the nearest quarter inch. The fractions look different, but is it the same length? Yes, they are, what do we call those? If they're the same, what's that word? Equivalent. Equivalent, yes. All right. I think our brains are on math overload. So put those papers that we have not done 
in your folder. Okay, we're ready to start with 561. Okay, so that one and the others behind it need to go in your folder. The pages that we did today, go put in your mailbox. Lucas, what are you shoving in your desk? Put it in a folder, please, sir. Thank you.